Hi friends, so I've got a lot of requests on help in terms of developing a tabular model so I'll, I'll go ahead with a demo on, on the tabular model today uh, quickly so on based on my last Twitter sentiment analytics a data mart I'll try to build a tab tabular model in front of you uh, something in line with what I have here it's already built mart so we'll try to build the same replicate the same uh, mart online and see uh, if we can do that so I'm going to create a new project So the next thing that you would uh, want to, to do is you would want to pull the tables with the connections. So what we do here is so yes. So now let's try to import data from data source. So that's where you would be you would be asked what are the different connections uh, from where so we have a SQL uh, connection here SQL server so we just uh, call it let's say Twitter mark con and let's call it that's my server that's my text analytics which has the mart so yep so it would ask you for the tables that you would want to import so uh, we just jump on to the next and uh, from this we are going to use the tables uh, from from the marts so we have the dimension tables and uh, then we have uh, the fact table so we have about uh, six dimensions six dimensions and then we have so we can give them a friendly name uh, here itself so let's let's give it a friendly name which would be let's call it our let's call sentiment tweet source let's call it tweet source tweet tag Twitter user and tweet fact thing seems good enough for me and I call it a finish it starts uh, basically importing uh, these uh, table along with the data in my in, from my database so if you if you have if you need information on the data I would suggest you to just go back to my previous uh, blog on uh, sentiment analytics and I have discussed the tables and the data in details here we will more focus on developing the, the cube for you which I have I've used on that particular project so we have uh, we have all the data here so the next important thing is to just uh, study uh, across the columns uh, and what are the ones that you would really need on to your client tools so the first thing that you would we would want to do is uh, just go back on the diagram and align our dimensions here so we have three more I guess so let's get this closer so that we can study it that's the center I guess so let me get the tweet fact and then the tweet user as well tweet facts would be at the center and then we have the tweet user yeah so yes so that's the fact and that's 
the data awesome so now what we uh, would learn next is this is my fact let me kind of expand it a bit yeah so these are my fact columns and of course these fact uh, is we're trying to build a simple star schema here and uh, that's if that's the case how we go about building our measures dimensions cleansing creating hierarchy all of that so we will we will we'll take a look at all of all of it here so we let's start from the date uh, well we have the date key just drag drop your uh, and, and link it or hook it should I say to your tweet facts table that would create a relationship uh, between your fact and your dimensions so yes uh, one date key has uh, many factual records so it's one is too many ne next important thing is uh, what are the ones that we, we need to to uh, hide it from our client tool so let's uh, go ahead and hide them out so I call it hide it hide it from the client tools that means it would not be visible on your when we deploy deploy on the analysis server or if we access it on the X Excel or, or power VBI these these columns would not be necessarily uh, visible uh, next is let's create a hierarchy let's create a hierarchy from year and let's so just click on this and it should be creating you a new hierarchy and let's call it year month month date and we will be creating the hierarchy from year uh, and before that let's just say let's select the month and sort the month by the month key so uh, if you would like to see the data let's uh, because I think that would be important here so I have my dimension date something like this so the month I would want to sort it by the month key and so is let's just go back and we have sorted by month key next I wouldn't want the month key to be visible on my client tools similarly I would want my day to be sorted on the basis of my date key first So if you again go back and take a look at your data, you have the days of the week and the day key. So we would need to sort that as well. So I am again going to hide this column out from the client tools. So I'm setting the property. This is another second way of, of hiding it out. So we have date, uh, we have day, date, time, month, year and the hierarchy. So let's now go ahead and create so hierarchy would be a simple drag drop so just pull the year column and drop it on the the name of the hierarchy that you're trying to create so that would simply create a hierarchy now I'm getting the month let's create that that would be creating a hierarchy for us awesome next we have the date let's drag let's call the date as well and drop it that is how you can create a hierarchy in, in a tablet model it's pretty easy quick and efficient next uh, we go on to uh, that's the hierarchy is created next we go on to the R key just hook your R key with your fact and that would create your relationship uh, it's, it's done and I will quickly hide these out from the client tools so goes for for sentiment key so let's just pull the sentiment key and hook it up with the fact that's uh, going to create a relationship between uh, the fact and the sentiment key so and and quickly 
disable my sentiment key along with my modified date and and modified by I think oops I also have to disable this it's just the R which should be visible here I am good now the next is the source key let's add the source key as well the source is from uh, whichever client tools uh, the person has, has tweeted again um, once that is done let's hide these out um, so I'll use the tag key as well let me just do it for for the rest of the three quickly and and, and come back yep so it's it's more or less done for for all of them so we have created the relationships uh, for for all of them and that's how it's it's your current data model logical data model looks like cool so we are are good with this now in the fact also we need to disable some of them so let's try to disable the keys because that's not something that we would really be interested in in showing to the client uh, or the client would not be inferring anything logical out of out of these these uh, columns we are good so if you were to simply quickly look at the relationships you can take a look here that's uh, an easy way of simply taking a look uh, how your how each of the relationships are have been created and quickly verify each of them each of them and if you would like to edit them so yeah we can just verify the dates the hours the sentiment the source the tags the geo and the user key all all looks okay here that's good now let's quickly go ahead and create our measures so total tweets are actually the records so if we were if I could say distinct count of my fact key that would mean my tweets because each record in my fact is actually a tweet so let me say that's my uh, total tweet next let's let me try to also say sum of total retweets so this would be a sum for each tweet how many times it, were, it was retweeted so I should say sum of uh, should I say total total retweet count that makes sense sense for me and uh, total favorite count again let's say sum we are basically creating measures here total favorite count yeah makes sense so that's a very good semantic model or tabular tabular cube that we have created let's save it and let's deploy it so I'm currently deploying it onto my local uh, server so soon I should be seeing a cube here on my analysis services uh, so how do we connect it is is here my analysis services if you connect it that's the one and I should see yes let me refresh that that should yep so I see a Twitter mod sample created now let's try and and browse it as you can see we have all the three measures created and the the uh, dimensions let's drop tweet count and let's see based on R how they look so these are the tweets based on R now let's try to see the sentiment of each of them yep uh, there we have the sentiment next let's try to uh, do it on source what were the tweet sources uh, yeah so most of the tweets as you can see were from Twitter for Android yeah okay now let's try to study the username and, and each of the tweets coming in so for this user we have tweet total of 
two tweets coming in uh, six tweets coming in from from this user that's good now uh, next also let's take a look at the date or should I say yep so we have the month year and the date coming in looks good so the hierarchy is, is, is good here that's next we want oh location yeah so those are the location of, of each of these tweets coming in and from the location if you were to uh, basically just study the sentiment as well so let's filter out the sentiment here and let's say only the positive ones so those are the positive ones for, from each of the locations and yeah we can basically slice and dice but the, but the most important uh, you know addition is is this it helps you integrate with power bi i can take the same uh, cube onto the power bi and create this dashboard for you and uh, you know help you analyze all of these tweets uh, in a matter of no time so as you can see uh, the entire cube being created uh, in a whisker and i hope uh, this would be helpful for all of you uh, to uh, develop your tablet model quickly and fast and uh, and and build it up there and, and integrate it with, with the power bi thank you so much you have a great weekend